Today we're going to be looking at an increase in supply. So first, like always, we are going to label our axes. That's price and quantity. Okay, great. So let's say for some reason there is an increase in the number in the number of suppliers of tires. So if this is our downward demand and this is our supply. So there is an increase in supply. So supply is going to move to the right. So the original quantity is Q1. The original price is P1. We can label this S1 and D1 just to be most clear. And then so supply has increased to this value. So if we go along the supply curve and where that meets the demand, this is the new quantity. So quantity increases. P2 and price decreases. So if, for example, there were, there was a uh, decrease in supply, then essentially um, it would just be the opposite. And let's also, let me just change my color. Okay, and then right here, because there are more suppliers, but the demand doesn't meet this, that means this area right here, this little triangle, is going to be the surplus of tires in our example.